Hi everyone, it's Hope from HopeYoder.com and we're in the Craft and Cut software. Let me show you the feature Wordplay. Select a new page and then select Wordplay. Wordplay is kind of like a graffiti art program. First, you're going to select the shape that you want. That would be the container. And let's do this bird. You can change the size if you'd like. And over in the text window, let's pretend we are going to a bridal shower and I wanted to make love birds uh, party favors out of paper. So I could type in Mr. Comma, Mrs. Comma, Peyton, comma, Bliss, and keep going. Separate each word with a comma. Select the font type that you'd like. Make sure your true type font is selected. And let's just do um, four colors, layers. Select Generate. This gives you a preview of the automation that's happened. If I don't like um, the angle, I can select vertical and horizontal and touch generate again or click on generate. The words aren't very small, so I'm let's change this to about half an inch. Whoops. And see what happens when we click generate again. That looks pretty good. Let's try one more thing to see if we can get some more in there. And you can see you can just have a lot of fun playing with the different sizes. Let's click OK if we like that and zoom in. Now, this is all artwork, not stitches. So let's go in our layers window. Here is the outline shape of the bird. And if I wanted to cut a solid bird out of paper, let's go ahead and select um, a different color so that it puts it in its own layer. And under the style, let's do solid so you can see the filled in. So we would have pink paper. And if I wanted to see that in a different green color, and maybe I wanted to use gray, or something a little lighter. You can kind of just play with this to see what colors might look good. And here's your color wheel. Let's see what yellow looks like. If we're happy with this, then we can export it. But let me show you another feature. Because you've selected true type fonts, let me zoom into this area. Let's say I wanted that mister to kind of form the shape of the beak. To do that, I would simply click on text. I can right click and left click on envelope and let's see what a pennant looks like. That looks pretty good. I can also just drag it over. I can rotate it. If I want this to fill in more area, I can simply drag it however I'd like and I can play with this by using the edit features. You also have uh, where you can move the R closer to the M or grab onto the orange square to move it off of alignment. Here's your undo. And so just keep going however you'd like with that. We can select this and you can keep moving with all of this. Now you've got different layers, so you would cut one layer of paper and then a second layer and green, an orange layer, a gray, and then a black. Now if I was going to make a wedding invitation, instead of cutting this all out of paper, maybe I would cut the bird out of paper and everything else out of vinyl so that I could easily stick it on to the paper in one application. To finish this design, you're going to want to export your artwork. File, export, and name it whatever you like. You can export it as an SVG, an FCM for the scan and cut, DXF for the silhouette, 
or PLT for a plotter file. I hope this inspires you to create some wordplay today.